subsection, we will be giving you an overview of the Maps app of DHIS2. We will describe its key features and will give you a demonstration of how to view event data using Maps. Detailed objectives include to understand the Maps app interface, understand how to create maps using event data, review the display options and filter value ranges in maps, alternate between clusters and point data, modify point options, and apply styles to option sets to differentiate values. The Maps app enables the geospatial analysis of events through the event layer. Unlike the event reports and event visualizer apps, the Maps app allows for visualization of both aggregate and tracker data. In this session, we will be using the Malaria Case Management Program to view event data in Maps. Let's highlight the three main tasks we will cover in these demonstrations. The first task is to create a map showing cases of severe malaria in pregnant women. We will use the data element filters of pregnant equals yes, condition of patient equals severe, a period of January 1st of 2020 to March 31st of 2020, and an organization unit of training land. The second task is to create a map showing the locations of malaria deaths. We will use the data element, treatment outcome, and filter only those who have died. The period will be the 31st of July of 2019 to the 31st of December of 2019. And we will view these at the organization unit of CAT district. The last task is to create a map that filters the data by female and PF malaria species and apply a data element style using the confirmation method. You'll have to use the following criteria. Data element filters sex equals female and malaria species type equals PF with a period of the 1st of July of 2019 to the 31st of December of 2019 and the organization units of districts in training land. 